everyone, welcome back to my channel, Beautiful Minutia. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany and today I'm doing the traveling with books tag. I was originally tagged to do this tag by Shelly Swearingen, but the tag was created by Gina Stanier Books. So I'll have both of their accounts linked below so that way you can check both of these lovely ladies channels out. I absolutely love tags like this that are about reading habits or reading preferences because I just think it's so fun to talk about and it's interesting to hear other people's reading habits or different things that they prefer or enjoy when reading and I think that it fosters a lot of really great conversation in the comments to see how people do things similarly or differently. So I love this tag. This tag is, as you might guess by the title, all about how you read when you're traveling or on vacation. And I have done a lot of traveling this summer. I actually had a vacation reading vlog not that long ago. So I'll link that if you didn't see it. We ended up hitting up the mountains and the beach on that vacation. So it was a great vacation to be able to vlog and share. But we have been traveling a ton over the summer. We're kind of tapering down, but my husband and I do have one more trip in October and then hopefully we're done for a little while because we are actually very much homebodies. So it's kind of funny how much we've been traveling, but it has been like a blessing to be able to see so many family members because all of our family members live hundreds of miles away from us. So we took time to visit both sides of the family and that's just been really wonderful. So I'm very thankful for that. Let's dive into the questions. The first question is, do you read when you travel? And I don't think anyone will be surprised when I say yes, I definitely do. If we are driving like cross country or whatever, we always have like a family audiobook picked out to listen to. Most notably, it's been the Lord of the Rings books this year, although we listened to an Agatha Christie when we went on vacation last month. If we're driving, I can't physically read in the car. I get car sick. My daughter does not even a little and I'm so jealous of her. I would get so much reading done if I could read in the car, but alas, I cannot. So we take advantage of audiobooks. If we're flying, then I can totally read the whole time and I usually get a ton of reading done if we're flying. Not quite as much when we're driving, but thank goodness for audiobooks. Question number two is, do you travel with paper books? Yes, always, I will find room for paper books. I don't care what I have to not bring with me. I will always have room for books because that's my favorite way to read. It's really relaxing to me and I actually read before I fall asleep every single night. So I kind of need at least one physical book. Question number three is do you travel with an e-reader? Not for myself, <laughs> but I always do have a Kindle for my daughter. My daughter reads so, so quickly. It's unbelievable how quickly she can read so much faster than me. And so we would have to bring like 10 books with us for a week long vacation in order to have enough for her to read. So I'm really thankful for e-readers for that. But for myself personally, I usually don't, although it is nice to be able to do that because then you kind of have a wider range of books you can bring with you and you're not limited by space, which is a nice thing. Question number four is a really fun question, which is how many books do you pack when you travel? And this is the question that I think that I'm the most interested in hearing what people's answers are because I think that it's gonna greatly vary from person to person. I already mentioned that I definitely always bring one book with me, but the truth is the matter is that I typically bring three and my husband usually brings several as well. So it just kind of depends on the size of our books, how much we can fit. We have a specific backpack that is only for books when we travel and my husband's tablet because he uses that as an e-reader. So he does bring an e-reader and physical books. But I am always bringing a classic book, some other fish, fiction book that I am in the process of reading. And sometimes I'll bring a nonfiction or a second fictional book. My husband typically will bring whatever fiction book he's reading and then whatever nonfiction book he's reading. And then, like I said, his tablet. So if we're counting between the two of us, we usually bring like four to six books. But just for myself personally, it's usually two or three because I kind of run out of space. I could only bring two with me on our last vacation that I vlogged because one of them was The Way of Kings and that's like huge. And my husband was reading a pretty book, big book also. So kind of ran out of space. Question number five is, does where you go or how long you're traveling impact the amount or type of books that you take? And I would say kind of, like if I'm gonna be going for a really long time, there's a good chance that I will 
bring more books. Like if I was being gone for multiple weeks, I would probably bring more than two books unless they were really, really huge books. But other than that, I don't think the amount changes so much. The type might change and that kind of has more to do maybe with the seasons than where we go. Like when we just vacationed to North Carolina, I brought Way of Kings with me because for some reason summertime is like, I want to be reading fantasy in the summer. So it was the perfect fit for a book to be reading on the beach. But I still always bring a classic with me, no matter what time of year it is. So it, sometimes it just has more to do with like what I'm currently in the middle of, like if I have buddy reads or something like that. Though I do try to sk not schedule buddy reads so much when I'm on vacation because I don't really have as much time to check in. But overall, I would say that my book choices are more influenced by the seasons than they are the location. And the last question is, do you buy books when traveling or visit bookshops and libraries? And the answer to this is 100% yes. I always come home with books. I never don't come home with books. I don't know why, it's a fatal flaw, I guess. I think my favorite thing to do, like when I visit my parents, we are whole family, we are big thrifters. Like whenever anyone comes to visit me or I go visit anyone my side of the family, we always go thrifting. And so I always end up coming home with books. And when I visit my parents, they have some really unique thrift shops near them that are really cool and have really great deals on books or some of them have like extensive antique book sections which are always just so exciting to me. I love books in general, but I really love old books. And then this last vacation, we went to McKay's in Tennessee, which is like a two story secondhand bookshop. And that was just amazing. I'm already like planning when I could go back there because that was really cool. But I usually do end up coming home with books. I am far less likely to go to a library when on vacation, but it does happen sometimes. There was one trip I remember my in-laws live in Massachusetts and there have been times where we have gone to their library so Claire has enough books to read and that was fun but typically I'm not as much of a library person when I'm on vacation because I can't check those books out or bring them home with me and so usually that's not my preference. However, if I was traveling somewhere that had like a really massive or historic library then that would be something I would be interested in stopping at. But overall, I don't think that libraries are my preference when I'm traveling. And again, that's probably because I can't check out any books, so I could just flip through them, but I think it would ultimately feel a bit unsatisfying for me as opposed to book shopping, especially when it's a secondhand bookshop or a thrift store. There's kind of like a thrill of the hunt because you just never know what you're gonna end up with as opposed to like an independently owned bookstore or even a mainstream bookstore like Barnes and Noble or something like that. There's certain books that they're always gonna carry. And so I feel like it's more fun for me personally for shops and secondhand shops because you just never know what's gonna be there. And sometimes you score big, sometimes you get nothing, but it's part of the experience, which is really fun because even if I don't find anything, Usually my family and I are like laughing hysterically and finding weird titles or my younger sister and I in particular, we love to find like the random like cowboy romances and joke about the titles because for some reason, almost all of them have children on the cover or as part of the title, which is just so funny to us that some woman's wildest dream is that uh, they're gonna meet a man who has children and see how tender and loving he is and then fall in love with him as a result. It's just funny. I, that's just such a trend with cowboy romance books in particular and we've picked up on that. So we have for years, if one of us goes thrifting without the other one and we find those, we always take pictures and send them to each other. So even if you don't find books to take home, it's just still so fun. And the last question is to tag some travelers. So I am gonna tag some people who I know are either traveling right now or have been traveling semi-recently to see what their bookish habits are when they're traveling. So I'm gonna tag Victoria from A Musical Bookworm. I know she did a lot of traveling this summer. Melissa from Libraries and Labradors. At the time that I am filming this, I think she's currently in Italy. I'm really enjoying her Instagram stories and seeing all her travels. 
And I'm also going to tag Krista from Books and Jams because I know that she does a lot of traveling with books. And so I would love to hear what all of you ladies' thoughts are when you are traveling, how you read, what you bring with you, all of that kind of stuff. This has been such a fun little tag. And so I hope to hear from you guys in the comments below what your thoughts are, how you travel with books. And thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit like and also subscribe so you can continue to see more bookish content from me. And I will see you again next time.